We're not just talking about faster processing speeds. We're envisioning a future where complex problems that currently take years to solve could be addressed in mere seconds. Picture a world where our most challenging issues in fields like medicine, energy, and cryptography become solvable. These ideas may sound like they're ripped straight from a science fiction novel, but they're not. This isn't a sci-fi fantasy, but a reality that scientists are bringing to life. Quantum computing. At its core, quantum computing is a new type of computation that harnesses the power of atoms and molecules to perform memory and processing tasks. Now let's take a moment to break down this complex concept into something more digestible. Imagine a traditional or classical computer. It's binary in nature, dealing with bits that are either zeros or ones. This binary system has served us well for many decades, but it does have its limitations. Quantum computers, on the other hand, utilize quantum bits or qubits. Qubits can exist in multiple states at once. This means they can be zero, one, or both at the same time. This is thanks to a quantum phenomenon known as superposition. Let me give you an analogy to help understand this. Imagine flipping a coin. While it's in the air, it's neither heads nor tails. It's in a superposition of states. It's only when it lands that we know what state it's in. Qubits work in a similar way. Because of this, quantum computers have the potential to process a vast amount of data simultaneously. This is something classical computers simply cannot do. But it doesn't stop there. There's another quantum concept called entanglement. When qubits become entangled, the state of one qubit will instantly affect the state of another, no matter the distance between them. This interconnection allows quantum computers to solve complex problems at an unprecedented speed. Now, you may be wondering why we don't all have quantum computers on our desk. Well, it's not that simple. Quantum computers are incredibly delicate. They need to be cooled to near absolute zero and shielded from all forms of radiation to function. Plus, we're still figuring out how to make them practical and affordable for everyday use. But remember this, quantum computers are not just a fancier, faster version of your laptop. They operate on a completely different level using principles that defy our everyday understanding of reality. So quantum computers aren't just faster versions of our current computers. They're a completely different beast. A fundamental element of quantum computing lies in its quantum bits or qubits. So what are to these qubits? Well, in the realm of classical computing, we're all familiar with the humble bit that binary digit that can be either a one or a zero. It's the fundamental building block of our digital world. But qubits, they're a different beast altogether. You see, while a bit is like a coin that can either be heads or tails, a qubit is like a spinning coin existing in a state of flux. It can be both a one and a zero simultaneously. This strange phenomenon is known as superposition, and it's one of the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics, but that's not all. Qubits also exhibit a property called entanglement. This is where the state of one qubit becomes intrinsically linked with the state of another, no matter how far apart they might be. Change the state of one and the other changes instantaneously. It's a concept so bizarre, even Albert Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. These unique properties of qubits, superposition and entanglement, are what make quantum computing so powerful. Instead of processing bits one after the other, like a traditional computer, a quantum computer can process a multitude of combinations all at once. This means they can solve complex problems and perform calculations at a speed that's simply mind-boggling. Now, it's worth noting that harnessing the power of these qubits is no easy feat. They're incredibly sensitive and require precise control and extreme conditions to function. And while we're making strides towards practical quantum computers, there's still a long way to go. But just imagine the possibilities. With the power of qubits, we could crack codes that would take traditional computers billions of years to solve. We could simulate complex biological systems, leading to breakthroughs in medicine. And the potential applications are almost limitless. In essence, qubits are the magical ingredient that could make quantum computers exponentially more powerful than traditional computers. Now that we understand what quantum computing is, it's time to explore what it could do for us. Picture a world where we can discover new drugs and treatments in a fraction of the time it currently takes. 
That's one of the promises of quantum computing. By leveraging the power of quantum bits, or qubits, scientists could simulate complex molecular interactions at an unprecedented scale, potentially leading to breakthroughs in areas such as cancer research or Alzheimer's disease. It's like having a super-powered microscope that can see into the very fabric of our biology. But the applications of quantum computing aren't limited to the microscopic world. Let's zoom out a bit. Then think about our planet, our climate. Understanding and predicting climate change is a monumental task, one that requires crunching vast amounts of data. Current computers struggle with this. But a quantum computer, with its ability to process and analyze data at an exponentially faster rate, could revolutionize climate modeling. It could provide us with more accurate predictions, helping us make more informed decisions about our future. Now, let's shift gears and talk about cryptography. In the realm of information security, quantum computing is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it poses a threat to traditional encryption methods. A sufficiently powerful quantum computer could, in theory, crack codes that would take a classical computer billions of years to solve. But on the other hand, it also opens up the possibility of quantum cryptography, a form of encryption so secure that any attempt to break it would be instantly noticeable. This could lead to a new era of secure communication, protecting our data from prying eyes. So there you have it. From the microscopic world of molecules to the vast expanse of our climate, from the realm of health to the world of cryptography, Quantum computing holds the potential to transform many aspects of our lives. From health to climate change, quantum computing could truly reshape our world. The question now isn't if quantum computing will impact our world, but when and how. As we venture deeper into the 21st century, the quantum realm is no longer confined to the esoteric corridors of science fiction or the hallowed halls of academia. It's breaking barriers poised to revolutionize industries and rewrite the rules of computation. Imagine the realm of cybersecurity. Quantum computers with their exponential processing power could crack the toughest encryption codes like they were child's play. But fear not, for the same power can be harnessed to create quantum encryption codes so complex that they're virtually unbreakable. In the pharmaceutical industry, quantum computers could simulate and analyze complex molecular structures, accelerating the pace of drug discovery and potentially saving millions of lives. And what about climate change? Quantum computers could optimize energy usage, contribute to cleaner manufacturing processes, and even help predict weather patterns with unprecedented accuracy. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Quantum computing is not without its challenges. Quantum bits or qubits are notoriously unstable and maintaining them in a state of superposition is no easy feat. Plus, there's the pesky problem of quantum decoherence where qubits lose their quantum properties over time. But here's the thing, we're making progress. Every day, brilliant minds around the globe are grappling with these challenges, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. They're developing new algorithms, discovering novel error correction techniques, and even exploring the potential of topological qubits, a kind of quantum bit that's more resistant to environmental interference. And so, we find ourselves at the cusp of a new era. An era where the principles of quantum mechanics are not just abstract theories, but tangible tools that we can harness to shape our world.